and we can talk about building out our funnels using Kajabi, using their really great, easy tool called pipelines. So you saw that when I showed you that particular flow chart and there were all those different elements, there were landing pages, there were sales pages, there were forms, there were emails and email sequences. Uh, there was ultimately a checkout. So all of those are the different elements in building out your funnel that Kajabi makes so very easy for you. In their pipelines, and we'll go ahead and show you here, if I click create a new pipeline, Kajabi gives you some pre-built, pre-formed, formatted funnels for different objectives. And I actually, I won't say objectives. Let me put it this way. They're more along the lines of styles of funnels because you have a lot of flexibility on then the content that you're going to use or the purpose you're going to use these different pipelines for. What do I mean by that? Well, this is a standard freebie and that is a landing page with a form that leads to adding them to your list. You have the option of tagging and you deliver some type of free content. So this could just be our simple PDF delivery, a checklist, a cheat sheet, an ebook, any, any type of digital product like that. Now, there are other freebies that you can create using some of these other pipelines that aren't necessarily, weren't originally intended for that purpose. And the example I'm going to give to you is this product launch OVO. OVO stands for opt-in, value, offer. And that kind of sums up these pipelines, aka funnels. You give people an opportunity to opt in for something, you do provide value, and then you make an offer. So that was what OVO stands for. So if I was going to say, so product launch OVO pipeline is really modeled after the Jeff Walker launch, uh, product launch formula process. So the fun thing, so this is the product launch OVO pipeline, following up on that, where there was be an opt-in for the free training. It generates an email sequence and 10 emails. And the 10 emails are going to be just boilerplate placeholder text, but they really did. I, I will commend Kajabi for giving some guidelines about what the content in each of those emails should be. And then you send them to the first piece of value, in this case, a video. And then a day or two later, you send them to the second video. Day or two later, you send them to the third video and you make your offer and then send them to a checkout. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Create Pipeline. And you can see it asked me what, I, what to name this pipeline and Product Launch OVO is good for me. Let's just pretend I was going to send, I was going to sell a membership and I would generate the pipeline. So this could be, could be used to actually sell an offer, but there is the opportunity. You can also just use this as a top of funnel option for a lead magnet. And maybe this is your free video training and you use all of this and you can make an offer, but maybe you don't make an offer. Maybe you just make a small offer to kind of get start to gauge the people that are actually going to purchase. So here you can see then what happens is Kajabi generates all of these wonderful assets that we need to have the opt in form or the opt in page, the opt in form. These are all rep. You can see this is all represented as our funnel here. And you can see that it generated a form. If you look to the right, you see a little overview that says product launch OVO form, where they're going to give us a name and email. Um, when the form is submitted, they are, sub they are subscribed to an email sequence. I'm going to show you that we can access all of these here in a second. 
there's our email sequence. Here is a landing page that has our first video. Here is a landing page that has our second video and our third that has our third video and directs them to the checkout for the particular offer that I chose. Now, the good news is here we go and we just can click on that and then we can start editing this with our own content. So we can change the background image. We can change, obviously change. We want to have a compelling headline. We want to let them know what is the ultimate benefit for you to opt in for this. And um, then we're going to have our message and, and we have our form and we're going to create in that form, what do we want to have happen after they submit that form? So you can see here, in most cases, you're going to want them to go to the next step in the pipeline. And you're also going to have the option with that form, and you have to do it under the form section, to perhaps tag people. You know, create a tag so you know who it is who actually opted in for this free training. Now, the second stage is they're immediately subscribed once they submit that form. This happens automatically. They're subscribed to this email sequence. So immediately upon subscribing, it's going to send email number one. And remember, I mentioned that they give you some placeholder text to kind of give you a prompt for creating your own content. So that's pretty, pretty helpful. And you also want to make sure you link to that first video. So the reason for that is it's entirely possible people opt in. They're being sent to video one immediately. Maybe they don't have time to watch it. So you want to make sure that you give them the link. So if they don't have time to watch it immediately, they can go back and they can access it. So here is where video one, and I always show this and I always say every time I do that, it's like this, this drives me crazy. So after they submit the form, they're going to be sent to this page and they're going to get, have a chance to watch video one immediately. And you can see down here, we have video one showing and we have video two and three as though they're locked and they're not available yet. And my pet peeve is I like to put this above there because it makes it very clear that there are going to be two more videos, right? And the good news, folks, is you can add more videos. So if you wanted to do a four video sequence, you can absolutely add another video and there's, there's not a problem. You can clone one of these pages, add an additional, additional video and the, and the thumbnail, and you could do the whole thing. You could do more videos if you wanted. You know, again, based on our email sequence, let's take a look at that. Uh, two days later, they're gonna send a case study and that's going to direct him to video two. Let me make sure that works. Yep. So go watch this video and it links to the landing page that has video two. And same thing, I would pull this up so they can click this link and go back and watch video one. This is video two. And once again, now video three is still locked. So a couple days later, there's another email, directs them to the free training. Deanna's pet peeve, pulling that up. And this is the final video. This might be the video where you then tell them what they need to do to take the next step, whether it's an offer. Maybe you're going to make an offer. Maybe this is the video where you sell that course, you sell that workshop product, or you invite them to join your membership. Or if you add a fourth video, maybe that's the one. So you have the flexibility. And then here is the offer checkout. And you can set it up, set it up with your pricing, set it up with any of the products that are included, any bonuses, et cetera. But you can also then on any of, as I've alluded to, on any of these pipelines, you can add more assets. Let's say this is my pre email sequence and I would have a post email sequence that's separate, um, I could add an additional email sequence. I can add additional pages. Um, I could add an actual sales page, which is kind of ironic. 
they go from video three directly to an offer checkout, which I wouldn't do. I'd send them to at least a short form sales page that describes in more detail what they get. But you can see, otherwise, you'd have to put all this stuff together yourself. Now, the good news is using one of these tools, you have your roadmap. If I wanted to build my own pipeline and not use one of the pre-built ones, or if I wanted to use a pre-built and modify it, I have everything mapped out here that I can just follow my own roadmap to build that right here in Kajabi. And the hand, handy little thing, they've got, you know, you can check off when you finish each one of your steps in your pipeline. And this is again, where you can also take these various pipelines. You can see I have tons of them and modify them for other offers. So use product launch for a free training. You could use product launch as a freebie, just an introductory top of funnel and not make an offer at the end. You could do a webinar, you could do a free ebook, you could do a coaching campaign. I hope you um, have a great weekend. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are watching on the replay, don't forget, feel free to ask any questions. And I will see you next week on Simple Steps to Online Success. So take care.